Hey everybody, how you doing? This is me, Corey Young, and I have Layla here, um, and she's um, the one with the puffy ears. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I do that as well as cut the body and everything. And as well, I have the flea comb, thinner scissors, two nail clippers, a groomer's comb, a slicker's brush, and I use the Ultra Edge um, clippers and I, I'm using a tin blade as well on her. Um, as well, like I said, it's easy to start off when you're shaving. The body is the easiest part to groom on a dog. So I like to start from the um, shoulders and go down to the butt part. And make sure um, I cut with the grain whenever I'm doing the back part. And make sure to pull the neck part towards you because you don't want to cut the skin or whatever. And it just makes it a whole lot easier whenever you're cutting the, um, pulling the skin. And she has the, um, Layla also has the poodle feet, so I'm going to stop here. I guess, can, like, I guess I would kind of, I call it like the elbow part here. Um, so where that start, I stop like it in the fold of the leg and I stop right there. Um, and I shave all the way down using the tin blade as well. And every time I cut, the head is always the last part that I cut on my dogs. Because it's the hardest part for most people. And I go and get the butt part. It depends on how clean you want it. You can shave against the grain. I like to shave against the grain sometimes to, to make it really smooth. Because when they go to the bathroom, you don't want any hair sticking back in. Be careful around the butt part. Shave away from it. So you can watch it. So you want to shave the actual butt hole. And then with the grain again down the leg. And then what I like to do here, I like to shave against the grain for the belly part. Cause I like it nice and clean. Uh, it helps to keep them cool, so when they're laying down and everything. Okay, now her back is shaving and all her legs and stuff are done. And I st stopped here where the leg um, folds here. And in the front where I, I started the boots is I bent the leg and uh, wherever I bent the leg here, I stopped right there in front of it right here. So if you bend it, stop where it folds at. So now I'm gonna do her neck and her the front of her chest part. Uh, make sure you pull the skin towards the top of her head to her towards her face to shave the back of her neck. Cause it makes it easier to shave because they have like that wrinkly like overlapping skin there. 
and make sure to follow the grain of the hair also. You can see she, her hair with Layla. Her hair goes this way on this side and then it comes back this way on this side. So you don't want to have like if you were to go against the grain or not follow it and have like a big space in between where the hair meets. So if you cut against the grain, you won't have that. And again, with her um, vocal cord, like the um, Adam's apple, I start from the base of the bottom of her ear and follow that all the way around to the other ear to get that, the part to let me know why it's supposed to shave off. Okay, now that the neck and the chest is done, I'm just gonna go over her head. And I go with the grain on the head also. To blend it in. I'm not gonna go over her ears, but this part, cause uh, she has, I'm trying to let her hair grow out on her ears. But as, if you can tell right here, it kind of stick, stick up here a little bit, like right up in here. I'm gonna take the clippers and go over the ear just a little bit to blend it in. So that it lays flat, just like this, lays flat. Cause this one, if you can tell, it lays flat here and it kind of puff here as you can tell how this sticks up here but if you shave it it just lays down as you can tell um, so I just like to go with just a little bit on the corner of the ears go back this way and what I do with the face I go I just go between the ears and the eyes and shave all of that off and just go straight down and shave it off I'm gonna do the same thing on this side go between the ears just following the grain I take the flea comb and I comb the eyebrows down to get the hair to go down. And what I do, I feel for where the um, there's a hard bone between the eye and the, the the actual eye and then the bone around the eye, like here. I take the clippers and go against the grain and stop where the bone stops, so I can get where I want the eyebrows to go. And then the rest I just do with the grain. Just making sure I get every little bit off. And then I shave in the inside of the ear as well. Not the outside, I meant the outside, just the inside of the ear. Part. 
and that's when I get the thinner scissors. I comb the hair towards the eyes, just in the, in, in the fold part here, up in here. I fold it, I comb it back towards the eye. So when I use the thinner scissors, it sticks up, and I'll be able to cut it in an angle in between the eye. Like so. Make sure I got it. Uh, some people like the unibrow, but I don't. So I take the thinnest scissors and go in between the eyebrow part to get the, the two eyebrows. Don't use res regular scissors because um, you have like a choppy look and you don't want that. It blends it in when you use the thinner scissors. Okay, I have the two eyebrows. You have to keep combing it. Um, and with her, instead of coming in an angle to get the the triangular um, the triangular uh, eyebrows, I go straight across. I go straight across to get a, uh, like a, I don't know what you call it, but it makes the eyebrows look a lot better sometimes when you do it like that instead of doing it in an angle. If you don't want the traditional, uh, I don't usually do the traditional cuts on my guys anymore. And as you can tell, at all. It still have the eyebrows that an actual schnauzer would have, but you just cut across the eyebrows instead of in an angle. Uh, just follow the way the eye goes, and you don't want to cut it too short, like close to the eye though. And there you have it. I have the two eyebrows for her, and gonna calm it down. Come here, keep it nice and straight. And I also do the trimming around the beard, but I go in the upside down U to get like most of like the icky, like brown, reddish looking hair. Trim it off. Don't trim too much because you don't want to look like awkward looking. Just calm it down. And that's how I keep most of their beards looking, well, at least almost white. Oh, come on, man. At least almost white. And as you can tell,
comb the ears out to make sure I have them the way that I want them. And even though the ears are like fluffy and I want it to grow long, I still kind of trim the edges just a little bit, just on the edges, because I don't like the pointy, like uneven hairs. I have an issue with that. But I still kind of trim it, just flatten the hair out. I'm just tracing basically the ears on the outside. It still gives it that full, like, long hair look, but just. And there she is. I'll post before and after pictures of her haircut when I'm done. Thank you.